autofocus, is that a thing? Because in that moment, you just know you'll never be the same. to my channel my name is Juan my okay I'm trying to look at the actual camera and not the viewfinder because it's been a really bad habit but hi guys my name is Juan and it's very nice to meet you I'm back and guys guess what the hell happened I became a reality star what the hell I'm just kidding. I'm not a reality star. Well, well uh -huh. I'm making this video because, as y'all probably know by now, I am a huge Tana Mojo fan. Get right to the point, I'm on Tana Turns 21. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? So I'm going to be talking like kind of my experience of how the meet and greet went down and what actually happened. Um... And my reaction to me being on Tana turns 21. So basically, yesterday morning, oh, not morning, because I woke up hella late. It was like 2 p.m. I woke up. It was actually 1.47. I remember the time because it was such an iconic moment for me. So Tana, no filter, turns 21, comes out every Monday, right? So I woke up, and I woke up around 1.47, as I said earlier. And usually what I do is I go on my phone, check messages, and then I go on YouTube. So, I was on YouTube and the first thing that pops up is the show, Tana Turns 21. So, I started watching it. And then I realized soon as I look at the title, it says the part of VidCon that Tana didn't want you to see. And I was like, finally, finally. I wanted to see it so bad because I wanted to know if I was on Tana Turns 21. And to my surprise... So, I'm watching the video, right? And then, it gets to the part where she's actually at the meet and greet, because, like, I'll talk about everything. But, she gets to the meet and greet, finally, and then she comes up and says hi to the fans, like, at the barricade. And then, they start the actual, like, portions of the segments of where she's meeting fans. And I see a red shirt start walking up to her, and I'm like, I recognize that shirt. And as soon as I see that red shirt, I pop up. And then as soon as I pop, like, I see that it's me, I record this video. So here's this video of me. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Guys, Tana put me as the first person on her reality show. Ignore this giant zip, but what? So that was my reaction to me being on Tana Turns 21. I literally, I was freaking out all day yesterday and still today. People, like my friends, my internet friends were tagging me on Twitter. They were sending me screenshots and I was like, what is going on? Like, what? I am so happy to be here. I love your energy. You just like woke me up like good morning. You're finally a feature creator. No, this video is not for clout. This is just me clearing some things up that people asked me. So I wrote a few notes on my phone. So Tana's meet and greet was on Saturday, July 13th at 3 o'clock. I know um, Natalie, her assistant, said it's at 2.30. But 2.30 was the time that fans could check into the meet and greet. So that's what time the check-in started. And her actual meet and greet was scheduled 3 to 5.30. Um, I'll insert a picture right here from the VidCon app. So I was in line this morning. I got to VidCon around 10 a.m. And then I got in line to meet Laura DIY at her booth. Um, so I got at, I finished that line like at 2, like 2.10 because I was in the line for a really long time. So then before I went to Tana's meet and greet, I went to go get a quick bite inside VidCon. I grabbed a slice of pizza with my dad and then we went to the meet and greet hall. And we ended up getting to the meet and greet hall like at 2.35. Um, Check-in was of course at 2.30 to 3.30 so I was okay on time. Um, but it was very, very, very packed. I will say that. So the way VidCon lines work is there is about four or five vertical lines. I don't remember how many exactly. It's either four or five. Um, so they're like one one line here, one line here, one line here, one line here. Um, so as soon as the first line fills up, the second one starts, and as um, eventually when the meeting greet starts, the first line will all go. And then once Tana's met all the first line, I'll show me all of the second line. As soon as she's met all of the second line, she'll meet the third, and so on. So 
um, I was in the last line, um, and it was before three, so obviously we were, we were all sitting down, we were like, okay, we all kind, we all, okay, obviously if you're a Tana fan, you know she's gonna be late, so I don't know why people are getting mad at her, like, I guess you can get mad at her because she's late, but I wasn't mad, like, I, I was like, typical Tana, like, it was iconic for her to be late, if anything. Oh yeah, so each line could hold about 45 to 55 people, I would say, on um, each vertical line. There was about four or five, as I said. Um, so I was in the last line, and then I met friends sitting down. And by 303, we were the fans were already screaming, Tana, Tana, Tana. There was no one there, which is the fans. There were, I would say there was about 300 fans, 350 at most fans. Um, the Harmony Green line was full. All lines were full and barricaded off already. Um, um, around 310 to 315, Tana posted on Snapchat that she was barely going on, like, on her way to VidCon. So that's when we all kind of, like, just sat down. Because we were all kind of standing. We were, like, in, not getting impatient, but we were just, like, very excited. Because, obviously, like, if you're going to meet someone that you really, really love, you're like, oh, my God, where is she? Like, oh, my God, I'm going to meet her. So we were all kind of nervous. We were, like, chatting. I made friends with the, purple, the people in front of me. We had, like, a very good cosplay talk. Shout out to... Barnacle boy if you're watching this um, There was these two very sweet girls that I met shout out to you guys at 320 So a few minutes after Tana posted that VidCon, I mean not VidCon, MTV arrived earlier than Tana like by a few minutes like five minutes Maybe so like ten producers video cameras mics started coming out. So we're like, oh my god So we all stood up and then when they saw and all the other meeting lines were already like moving because obviously the creator was there already um, um, producers like going like this because we're kind of like seeing the MTVs there so we're like Tana, Tana, Tana so like okay so I'm guessing they were like oh this is really good content so let's hype them up even more and then they, they went like this a little bit as you can see in my VidCon vlog um so we started even going more but then the person next to us which um the creator next to us his name is Mark I believe because his fans started saying mark 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 and then we started competing with them We were like Tana Tana, so that's why it got so loud Tana eventually came out and as soon as Tana came out all these MTV's cameras were following her She came up to the front. She said hi to us. So she said how are you guys doing because you saw in the, um, in the video meet and greet began as the first line was finishing up people started from the second line third line fourth line started noticing that the first line was going first so they would move to the first line so it was not ending i swear that first line took like maybe 45 minutes which is kind of unfair but whatever happened happened um so i ended up waiting an hour and 32 minutes to actually meet tana because at five 54 I posted a video when I was next in line and I said I'll import the video right here The queen herself is right there. Oh my god. That was right before I met Tana I brought Tana flowers and a letter and they took that away from me a long time ago when I first got in her line Um, excuse me. They told me to put it in a box, but I don't think she ever received the box I've been waiting to meet Tana for so long. Tana's my favorite YouTuber. I love Tana so much. Her energy, her vibe, like her content. It's just her personality makes me love her. Whenever I'm sad, I watch a Tana video. Instantly, I'm dying in tears of laughter. And to be able to meet someone that inspires me so much, I was gonna. I when I saw Tana, like right there, I was gonna start crying. But I was like, no, Juan, don't cry. This is your moment with Tana. Don't spend it crying. I ran up to Tana and I was like, Tana, Tana. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the most amazing feeling to meet someone that you love so much. My brain just kind of went poosh. I was going to tell her that I brought her flowers. That I tra traveled all the way from the Bay Area to go see her. She asked me how I was and I was like, I'm good. How are you? And she's like, I'm so fucking happy to be here. And I was like, you're finally a fucking featured creator. And you can see me jumping up and down. I was so happy for her that she she's living her dreams and then at that point I didn't like I didn't care about the cameras or anything it was me and her so I was like generally so happy for her I was like Tana you're a featured fucking creator and I was like jumping up and down and then she was started dying she's like you're gonna make me cry um that part isn't in like the MTV but I remember this uh because I have my experience in my phone as well um she said, you're making me want to cry. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And we were like, literally like, going like this. If you see my VidCon vlog, there's a picture of her like this. And her hair is like down. That's because she was like, oh my god, you're going to make me cry. And we were both like, going to start crying. Like, we had a moment where we were going to start crying. Because we just loved each other's, loved each other's energy. And then, when we finally are going to, when we calm down a bit, um, 
we gotta take her picture and she's like are you fucking ready to slay this shit and I go I'm fucking ready to slay this shit so we fucking take our pictures that are fucking bomb and then I turn to her and then she's like asking me if I'm gonna go to her q and I'm like of course I'm gonna go to a party on your Q&A and then by that time the photographer is giving me my card like telling me to move on and so I grab the card I'm like I love you and then by that time she's like she's like she waves and she's like love you and then I'm walking away and as I'm walking away that's when I go back to reality I'm like holy shit I just met Dana Mojo and then by that time uh, I'm past all the like recording people and then to leave the meeting you have to go to like a hallway thing um so I was leaving the hallway and that's when a producer came up to me and she he was like are you 18 and I was like no I'm not and he's like oh okay um can you have your parents sign this um it's to be on Tanner's show, and um, they have like mostly everyone saying it as I saw some people didn't. There was like a few people that I didn't see get signed, uh, asked, or maybe they just didn't want to be on it. I'm not sure. I wasn't 18, I had to go ask my dad. I was like, Dad, I called my dad, I was like, Dad, you have to come sign this because I'm gonna be on MTV. Like, hopefully, I'm gonna be an MTV reality star with like Tana Mojo. Come sign this right now. And then he came, he signed it, and it was like my name, our address, phone number, signature. Um, and she, Oscar Gracie came out at 5.34, Tana came out like at 5.36, so she wasn't late at all, they were like, they were like four minutes late, so she wasn't late to her Q&A at all, she had like a few, 20, like probably like 20, 10 minutes in between her meet and greet and Q&A, honestly, she was taking her time with fans, like, she genuinely gave her like her stuff, like what you see on camera is what she gave, and like, it was like unreal. Like, it's like a you and her moment. Like, you don't even care about the cameras and the other fans. You're talking to her. She's talking to you like your best friend. Honestly, it was a really good experience. Meaning Tana was, she's just, she's honestly so humble. She'll never, like, she, yeah, she dresses like all this bling. And she'll, like, put, like, um, these big heels and tight dresses. But honestly, she's herself. She's genuinely herself. And Tana turns 21. Tune in every Monday. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Like this video. Go watch my other videos and I start school tomorrow so I'm gonna go shower and like do a night routine or something <laughs> pretend to do a night routine like I have all these creams or whatever but I'll see you guys later um subscribe bye love you bye